Uh, I didn't make a video last week. Um, I kind of went back and forth about it. I didn't get that much done. Um, just some more filler on the legs. This one here is the top is fairly good and the back is fairly good. I still need to clean out that channel there. Um, the, this one I had done the back but I haven't done the front yet. The front on this one is a lot better than the front on the other one. Um, it won't need as much filler. And then what I also did is I glued this together last week. So basically filler on this and glued this. Um, I did filler on this this week. So yeah, I was I was doing at least one video a week. It, it kind of kept me motivated to work on this every week. But last week I felt like I didn't have enough to make a video, so should I make one or not? And by the time I decided, well, I should do it just so I can keep going one a week, I didn't have enough time. So this week I was almost thinking the same thing, because really, again, I just I did some filler on the legs and did the ankle, but I didn't show the ankle at all. Uh, this is the center ankle. I didn't show that at all because I didn't have a video last week when I glued it together, so I thought I'd make a video this week. Um, I used the two-part filler on it. Um, it. Still needs more filler, it needs some sanding, but at least the, uh, the seam area in these areas that should be flat. Um, sanded with 100 grit just kind of to get the filler off. The two part filler is a lot harder to get off, uh, to sand off than the one part, but I think it, it's a harder overall uh, filler. So something like the legs and ankles that have areas that might be uh, more susceptible to damage it might be better to use this than the glazing putty, but I think this, like this curve, the glazing putty might be a bit better because it was a pain in the neck to sand and I sanded a bit too much in a couple areas so it's going to need a little more work but I think that's good enough in the areas that I've done for it to just get a, a coat of primer and then do glazing putty for the areas that need more work down here here um, I think I might try to sand this curve a little first. It's, it's quite rough for whatever reason. Layer lines on both sides. Um, I ran into another issue with the metric bolt kit that I bought. I just seem to have a few things where the size is off. So these bolts are a little bit too long. They're not um, level. They stick out a bit with the uh, from the surface of the ankle, so I might want to, unless it's glued in so I can't get it back out, uh, undo that screw, buy a shorter screw, or cut the end off of it so I can put it back in there and hopefully it won't protrude out past level with the face of the uh, ankle there. There's also two inside. Um, those, it doesn't matter because they're inside. And this is an example of where you can use the three millimeter square nuts. Uh, a couple of my other videos. Um, there are two millimeter thick square nuts and three millimeter thick square nuts. And I ended up with both kinds. So this is a place where you can use the thicker ones because they're inset in a square hole like that. So they sit down flush, whereas anything in fact, there's an example right there. Um, inside, you can see that there are spots on both those corners there for square nuts to be slid inside. So they have the rectangular pocket. 
and the those thicker square nuts are not going to fit in there so you have to use the thinner nuts in there um, the other thing that i wanted to show today is that i got my magnets in ordered them from ebay um, these are ooh, i think they're five millimeter thick by 10 millimeter diameter I think that's what they are, if I remember correctly. I ordered 100 and it was about $20. Um, I ordered 100 because I didn't want to run out. They're fairly cheap. And if you start counting how many you need, um, one, two, three, four, that hold the horseshoe on, two that hold the booster on. So that's six and then you've got the matching magnets in those parts so that makes 12 right there and you've got two legs so that's 24 just for these two legs um, then you've got the uh, foot shells and the center foot shell uses I believe two uh, magnets, two pairs of magnets on each side to hold the um, the plate onto the sides, the side plates onto the foot shell. So that's eight for the center foot shell, and I think it uses another four each for the outer foot shells. So you're up to you're up to like forty or so magnets just there alone. Um, so yeah, I just, just ordered a hundred and they just came in. So a quick video just to say, sorry, I didn't make one last week. If anybody is actually <laughs> expecting me to do one a week, I think I will try to do that, uh, going forward. It's just, uh, need to get motivated to start getting more more finishing work done again the temperatures outside are not to the point where i can spray primer at least i don't feel comfortable with it um, but i found that i can do some filler in my garage and then put small uh, small portable heaters and kind of point it at the part to keep it a decent temperature so that the filler dries properly um, but not hot enough that it's gonna melt the plastic so for something thick like the legs and the ankle that's fine I'm a little bit more nervous trying to do that with something like this which if I remember has a 10 or 15 percent infill getting that too hot so um, but yeah, I've got enough stuff that I can I can start doing some filler or just sand again, sanding first. So whether whether the video is really short and just shows a couple things that I sanded or not, if that's worth posting, just to be able to say, hey, I posted a video a week or not, um, I might change my mind again. But. Um, for now, yeah, I thought uh, the fact that I got my magnets in and I got the ankle glued together and some filler work on it was enough to uh, make a video, short video for this week. So that's about it.